Oh my god guys, the temperature just dropped to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Just shows how quickly this thing responds to power. Hey, right away, you can feel a steady stream of cool air blowing out. It's not just a weak breeze, it's genuinely refreshing. The airflow is continuous, smooth, and really helps cool down the surrounding space. Hey guys, it's been crazy hot lately, right? So today, I'm gonna try making a super cool mini portable air conditioner something you can take with you anywhere. Let's check out the parts we'll need for this fun little project. And here are the super important parts for today's build. First up, two Peltier cooling modules. These little guys are the stars of the show. They can seriously drop the temperature big time. As long as we cool them properly, they can get really, really cold and don't worry. I'll show you just how cold in a bit. Next, we've got this chunky aluminum heatsink. We'll use it to keep the Peltier modules nice and cool. And of course, we can't forget these tiny fans. They'll help blow cool air out and also push away the heat from the modules. And finally, this high-capacity LiPo battery. It's going to power the whole setup, the Peltier modules, the fans, and even the sensors. All right, guys, it's testing time. Let's fire up this Peltier module and see what kind of magic it can do. Now, if you've never seen one of these in action before, you're in for a treat. This little chip might look simple, but trust me once it gets going, it can produce some seriously deep cold. Like, cold enough to surprise you. The key here is proper cooling. If we keep the hot side from overheating, and that's what this aluminum heatsink is for, then the cold side can really shine. So I'm going to stick this heat sink onto the hot side to help pull away the heat and let the cold side do its thing. It's kind of like giving it a way to breathe so it doesn't overheat. Okay, now I'm going to hook everything up, get the wires connected, and give it some power. Watch closely within seconds, we should start feeling that cold air. It's super cool to see literally, and it really shows how effective this tiny piece of tech can be when set up properly. Let's go! And to boost the cooling performance of this aluminum plate, I'm gonna take it one step further we're dunking it straight into ice water. Yep, that's right we're going full chill mode here. By submerging the heat sink in ice water, we're giving it a super powerful way to get rid of heat faster. That means the hot side of the Peltier module stays cooler and the cold side. Well, it gets even colder, even quicker. It's a little trick to make the whole setup way more efficient. So yeah, don't underestimate the power of a cold bath, it might look simple, but it makes a huge difference in how fast and how cold this thing can get. Let's get it in there and see how chilly things really get. Oh my god guys, the temperature just dropped to minus 20 degrees Celsius. That's insane. Super fast, super cold, and honestly it feels amazing. I'm seriously impressed this little setup is working way better than I expected. It's not just cooling, it's freezing. This could totally be the heart of a mini air conditioner, no joke. Look at this, guys. The water on the surface just turned to ice instantly. No kidding it started freezing up right away. You can actually see a thick layer of frost forming like real snow and ice building up on the cold side. It's wild. I didn't expect it to be this extreme, but man, it's working like a charm. This just proves how powerful these little Peltier modules can be when set up right. Alright, now I'm gonna turn off the power so we can see what happens next. Watch closely guys, there it is. See that? The ice is already starting to melt just like that. It disappears almost instantly once the cooling stops, pretty cool right? That just shows how quickly this thing responds to power. Now I'm gonna set this aside and get everything ready for the next step. We're moving on to assembling and wiring up all the modules to build our mini air conditioner. Alright everyone, now I'm going to do a quick assembly right here so you can see how this mini air conditioner works and understand the basic principle behind it.
Alright, now I'm going to run a quick test for you guys. Right now, the temperature is 25.5 degrees. Once it drops to around 24 degrees, the system will automatically shut off. As you can see on the screen, there's a temperature sensor. It detects the temperature and cuts the circuit to give the system a break. The fan will keep running, but the Peltier module the cooling element will pause for a while. When the temperature rises again, the circuit will reconnect and the cooling resumes. This is a smart standby feature that helps save battery and extends usage time. There you have it, guys. As you can see, the temperature sensor is incredibly sensitive super responsive. The moment the temperature reaches 25 degrees Celsius, it immediately activates the cooling system without any delay. Right away, you can feel a steady stream of cool air blowing out. It's not just a weak breeze, it's genuinely refreshing. The airflow is continuous, smooth, and really helps cool down the surrounding space. This kind of responsiveness is what makes the system feel high quality and reliable, especially in hot environments. It's those little details, like fast reaction time and consistent airflow, that really enhance the user experience. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's video. We've successfully built our very own handheld mini air conditioner. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching until the end it really means a lot. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye.